They're asking parents to have very open and honest conversations with their children. The U.S. attorney says every child and teen is in danger when it comes to sextortion. And we're seeing statistics that say from 21 to 22, the, the allegations have tripled. And that's why the FBI is really amping up its investigations and asking any victims to come forward. It starts as a friendly chat on social media. Conversations between a minor and a stranger eventually turn sexual, sometimes leading to an exchange of pictures, and then the threats of exposure begin if the minor doesn't provide money or sexual favors. It's called sextortion, and its victims are multiplying. The rapid rise of sextortion across Michigan, across the United States, is, of course, a very deeply disturbing trend. According to the Department of Justice, 3,000 U.S. minors were targeted in 2021. One of the victims, a 13-year-old girl from Grand Rapids who was coerced into having a sexual conversation with a 21-year-old man, Brandon Hu Lee, from Florida. He then took a screenshot of the sexual portion of that conversation and threatened to publicly post that conversation online. Lee is now facing charges out of Clinton County. This incident happened back in 2019, and the government fears Lee has many more victims, releasing this list of Snapchat names they believe he's used over the years, hoping more people come forward. We are 100 percent committed to using every tool that we have to hold perpetrators accountable. And Kira, investigators obviously are asking other possible victims to come forward. If people need to reach out to the FBI to report a case, what number should they call? They're asked to call 1-800-CALL-FBI. And Alicia, as I mentioned, they're really upping their investigation. They're also putting out a list of safety tips, how young people should uh, operate on social media. So we'll have that full list on our website at WXYZ.com. In Detroit, I'm Kira Hay, 7 Action News. 1-800-CALL-FBI. Kira, thank you again for your live.